many congratulations. A straight set to win over the two-time champion Peter Wright. Are you surprised by just how comfortable that was? Uh, yeah, it wasn't comfortable for me, that to be honest, but yeah, I, yeah, I was, yeah. You said to Abby Post, now you've got so much respect for Peter. Is it tough when you see such a player struggling like that up on the stage? Oh, yeah, really. Um, yeah, it is. I've I, I done it a few years ago with uh, Tony O'Shea at Lakeside, and um, yeah, it was a similar kind of feeling. Um, yeah, obviously you want to win, but to try and kill the, the game off, and even leg by leg is difficult because you're playing someone that you you normally watch and you don't want them to lose. You beat James Wade in round two last year, Peter this year. You're making a habit of claiming some real big scouts on this stage. Yeah, but funny, I'm not really playing well. I, uh, yeah, I've had two funny games so far. I mean, a, a guy, a lovely guy as well, um, Norman was, but someone that I didn't know and then someone that I know very well that didn't play well. So, yeah, um, mentally two tough games for me. That. Is it encouraging as well? You haven't been anywhere near your best yet, but you have to drop a set so the best is still to come. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, both games. It, like, um, my focus in and out, terrible. But, like I say, sometimes when the pressure's on you, like, your focus is easier. So, yeah, hopefully there's more in the tank. Well, you've knocked out Peter Wright. James Wade has also gone out in your section of the draw. Do you feel there's a real opportunity now to have a really significant run at this event? Oh, yeah, me and all the other guys that are still left in, I guess. Um, yeah, you know, but everyone plays so well now. It's no surprise to see, like, rank 128 beat rank number two. It's just the standard at the moment is is fantastic. So, yeah, there's no surprises, really. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Jim, congratulations on the result. I remember you sat there a couple of days ago saying you were playing your idol. What was the preparation like? Were you fighting your own emotions in the build-up to the game? No. Um, I went to work yesterday. Um, yeah. Enjoyed the day, and then come here this morning, and yeah, we've enjoyed so far. <laughs> okay, we've seen what you, you can do. Where are the levels, and how how do you get up to the level you expect from yourself? Having said you're not the best. Uh, it's honestly focus. You know, I, I've played two poor games really, but my focus wasn't there. But yeah, like I say, I've played. Oh, I played Steve Beaton this year and beat him with 114 average, and yeah, so it, it's all focus. Obviously, when you were preparing for this, Luke Littler was doing his thing on that stage. Did you have one eye on it, and was it hard to follow with such a good performance? Uh, honestly, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what he finished up with, but I was kind of interested in when I was on, same as probably Peter was, to be honest. Jim, you say you were at work the other day. Any practice? In between games, or were you just focusing on your work? Yeah, I had half an hour. My friends from Northern Ireland is here, so we had half an hour the other night, but yeah, nothing serious. Does it take the pressure off a little bit when you're at work and obviously you're thinking about that and not thinking about being at the World Championship quite so much? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, possibly. Um, but any dark player will tell you, you, your preparation isn't two days before, it's six months before. So. <clears throat> yeah, I could have crammed as much as I wanted in, but it wouldn't have helped that. Can I ask you what Peter said to you at the end of the game? No, he, he's a gentleman, honestly. He, he wished me all the best and, and he apologised for yeah, not playing great. Or, but yeah, I, I've, been, I've been in issues, it's tougher. You'll obviously play Peter on the Pro Tour and in other tournaments over the years. Does he seem like the same player to you from that stage? <sighs> Look, the guys won the Euros, didn't they? Won the Euro. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, it's difficult because he wasn't playing well, but you know that at any moment there he could have flipped the switch and, uh, you know, not lost another leg. So, yeah, it was a difficult game. Jim, we've seen people get on that stage year after year and they just can't adapt. But back to back third round appearances for you. Are you starting to settle on that stage now? I would like to say yes, but I've had to difficult games there so yeah have I settled probably not is it difficult when you have such a comfortable tie in the first game winning all nine legs to come up against two time world champion uh, yeah um, uh, yeah I, I'm probably not expecting kind of what happened there um, <coughs> yeah it was a difficult one how much more is the left to see of Jim William because we know that you've not played your best stuff. So what can we expect from you? Where, where are the gear that you can go to that we've seen on the floor, obviously, title winner as well? Yeah, I mean, obviously I've been... <laughs> 
quite a bit below my even average for the year. So, yeah, I've got yeah, I've got a couple of gears left.